Cool, and today I want to talk about uh, speculation in talking. So there is this idea that human beings could uh, kind of revert from their main purpose, their goal, and they could go into analyzing what is going on, and that process has different kinds of solutions that pop in their head. For example, not being as intensive when you talk to other people, but kind of adjusting yourself, adapting to the moment, you know, all that fun stuff. And then you have that idea that people take it more than it being in the moment, but make it hourly or make it yearly in, in a sense where that they live in that moment. They live in their own... Um, manufactured systemic uh, mind and their appre appropriations to socializing with others, to doing things in a certain way, building their neurological circuit, uh, making their system flexible, uh, bending facts, seeing things the way they're not, building more perspective, but seeing things even in a not effective way. In an ability, with an ability to be able to gather a bunch of knowledge in an unstructured format and restructure them later, but not be able to explain themselves. Some people have that. And also the ability to get all that information, analyze it the way it is, you know, maybe not uh, be as competitive with, with individuals, but be more relaxed, but still yet find purpose that people should be uh, honoring you the same way. So the idea goes, which way is better? Well, there's different ways for different tasks. For writing, you need calmness, definitely. You need a lot of calmness. For uh, running, com working out, doing sports, you need something more closer to perfectionism. Now, I want to talk about the idea that there is rock bottom and then there is the sun. I call it the sun. Why the sun? Because if you go fly too close to the sun, you will burn your wings off and you will fall and you will exhaust yourself and you'll go back to the ground. So um, rock bottom, imagine it as a cave in, in my theory. Imagine It's just a random shaft that you could fall through and, and just be there at, below the ground. So um, taking this example, it's a vertical line between the ground and the sun. We have the individual, and the individual could start questioning things but not taking any action. So he's heading more towards the rock bottom. He's slowly descending on the elevator shaft down there. And as he's descending down there, um, let's say there's spikes, right? Spikes on the side of the, uh, of the mud that is in that shaft for some reason somebody left some spikes so as he's descending down he's getting cut with the spikes he's getting hurt so he decides that he wants to take an act upon it so he stops the elevator somehow he he jams it and he stands there and he starts thinking and as he's thinking he ascends uh, he ascends on the elevator that means goes up he goes up a little bit on the elevator towards uh, towards the ground now so he's going back into balance okay so in this state where he first got hurt what does he feel well it's this individual who can't really organize his thoughts because he's falling through the moment he's thinking through a lot of uh, important uh, aspects of seeing meaning he's really close to uh, his nature of emotions and feeling and his asp aspirations of um, taking things that are apparent and making them much larger in purpose than they even serve the individual uh, essence in life, exaggerations, hyperbole, similes. So he's somewhere over there. And the way he's thinking is, you know, he's more relaxed. He has the inf time of infinity. I call this calmness, but really... In a, in a procedural sense, it sounds like it's more to the uh, associated with rock bottomness, and the individual is just lost in time and space. But at the same time, he constrains himself, so he still has a system, and that system would be like the elevator shaft. And you have a vertical line going from the bottom to the top, and he, there is segments. Divide that line into segments, so he's at a certain segment. 
And then an individual, you know, when they associate a meaning like rock bottom, one individual would say, oh, being rock bottom is just not being able to organize your thoughts, while another individual has a way worse than that guy. So that individual is here. And they're talking about rock bottom, but their difference at the rock bottom in the shaft have a, a, a huge significant uh, impact. Maybe this guy did even more things in life and this guy did less things in life, but he ends up being on the top while the person who did nothing ends up being on the bottom. So the idea is that we still kind of organize our mind in any kind of state and imagine the world and imagine two billion people and all the possibilities and associations and perspectives on how segmented they could organize their logic and under uh, what kind of column uh, do they have a higher advantage over what kind of column they have a lower advantage in terms of skill and talent that's how you start seeing the real things in the real world well, in, 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 a, in a theoretical way so when someone says, oh, I'm going to be at the rock bottom and he's like, okay, taking me, for example, like now I see and I regret it. I'm like, okay, so I'm going to go to the rock bottom of the rock bottom and nobody's going to beat me. So I went to the rock bottom to make a video. And let's say my rock bottom is right where my ear is. But there is another guy who did cocaine, did drugs, uh, beat his wife, um, got into jail, got ass raped, got stung with bees, lost two legs and an arm, two arms, and almost his head, somewhere in Mexico, and he's here. And I'm defining a definition for rock bottom, which is just here, and he's over there, so he already beat me in that. But there is a third person who comes, and he judges the perspective between them, and he says that I should be at the rock bottom, and this guy is an idiot, so he goes to another column. That could be possible. So there's different kinds of shifts based on the one person's perspective, but what is the essence and the fact behind this situation? So um, it depends about our inner thoughts. It depends about our constant uh, common, no, constant common neurological circuit. So if I think in a dominant fashion all my life, then I would be considered a dominant person. Well, if he thinks his life all completely in a victimized way with um, <clears throat> recessive aggression or or passive aggression, then he would be a spy, I would be aggressive, he, he would be passive, I would be aggressive. So how do you compare the two qualities? Are people even comparable in, in, in the sense of what they do? I don't think so. So the idea is that there is this state of mind which we could go into to actually create a process and to con uh, analyze things in a different format than just being singular. And I don't understand why is the norm just simply contained of being the best, having the strongest desire, having the strongest power, having other people fascinated by the strongest power. Why isn't it about perspective? I think perspective would beat power if you with this example because that individual thought of me as being the one on the rock bottom and that guy at the top or that guy being an idiot. So just see how everything just shifted. Now, <clears throat> if you go down to the bottom, let's say you really are that 1% of people who are at the rock bottom. You had every possible worst thing happen to you in life that you already probably can't go down you can't get up to the sun or can't get up to the ground so you live on the bottom it's really hard for you to get up you might not even have time it depends how long you imagine this uh underground uh, shaft to be and then you're like 20 kilometers up there climbing slowly 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 okay let's say you actually get up you get out to to the ground and you you get a lot of energy a lot of passion and you strive back up from the bottom what happens to you? Well, you get into this hyperactive state of mind where you try to recover information that you haven't transitioned smoothly in your mind and you're trying to associate things in a relative difference, comparing them through is. Remember what I said about that? That's not good. You should let one thing mean one thing and another thing mean another. 
and after that you kind of get this hype i know the i know you guys get this in social interactions but it's not really the big difference of what i explained between the theory it's just the idea of it that you try to be like okay i'm gonna be competitive i was never competitive in my life and then i'm gonna do it right now and then as he does it he notices oh you know my high lasts for 15 minutes and then I fall back down and then I'm like what I thought that I had all the power in the world t t to be up here and then it's like no you don't and that's the idea but the idea is that he just went up on the same frequency as he was at the bot at the rock bottom so now imagine a vent a gate with many lines across going there so he went there he went up to the sun he got burned or he, he felt the heat that's that's the best scenario and he just went down to the ground but then if he transfers to another perspective he and there's different information he doesn't think in the same way he doesn't think in a black and white way he sees another world he sees another shaft and another sun imagine there's like nine ten suns and in, in the world seven suns just to maybe relate it after to dreamland so he's in another line he decides well you know i suck i'm gonna go to the rock bottom he descends to the rock bottom and he's like wait why is it so shallow here and then he's like well all the individuals are near the sun they're trying to burn themselves up get to the sun as much as they can why are they even getting to the sun why don't they just stay on the ground that's balance these guys burn and then he's like wow so nobody really even wants to be in this generation in the rock bottom well you know what i'm gonna go to the gothic ages <laughs> okay so he's in the gothic ages Apparently, let's say they no, they don't have a shaft. They don't. They can't make one. They're useless. No, I know. <laughs> no, cool. Um, okay, yeah, that's just um, you know not real. They have a shaft, whatever, whatever, like some kind of emo generation, and that shaft is like really huge, and the sun is like really close to the balance of that society, and you're standing on the balance and you're getting burned because the sun apparently wait the sun can't be so close yeah but the sun is like pretty close like like, like let's talk let's talk virtually and you're getting burned on the ground and you're tr and the only way you could leave your balance is by going underground that is when everybody is so so dreadful so pessimistic so attacking towards you that you can't stand in balance that you have to drop into the shaft because their heat that they're generating is just too strong for you to stay and function in the existence of society so what happens you you got the perspective of different worlds you got the differentiational meaning between the shaft and the sun this is my theory in better and you got the idea that you know you don't you don't have to be efficient and progressive to go towards the sun and go towards your point of success which would be probably heaven gate heaven's gates but instead you would go to another line and you would see different perspective and let's say on the other line the sun would be moved for you over here because now now you're um you're ascending the proper way you're you're doing things with perspective so the sun switches its perspective around the cause that you're you're bringing in this world so the sun you know revolves at that certain time over here or something and you get some chance to climb it's a little bit heated but with this perspective you're able to climb to your goal which is heaven and then in heaven you could finally relax and be like everything was amazing in my life and i didn't have to do anything evil or mean or competitive to get there but the point is there are going to be things on the way with your perspective that will trample you down so yeah that's the theory and the difference between being on a high it's like yeah yeah i told you hyperactivity and stuff 
But then that's not the only cause because there is sometimes a person doesn't have resources so he can't actually go up to the high so he burns himself and, and yeah, and that's why he stays on the low forever. I don't know. Bye-bye.